So, are you looking for a super affordable POS system here in the Philippines? This might be an iChico's POS system for under 10,000 pesos. Hey everyone, this is Gil Vergara back again with another video, and this is Doom Life. And if you like the stuff that we produce here, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate your time every time you invest your time here. So, today we're going to be covering a POS system that might be super affordable for the majority of entrepreneurs here in the philippines and potentially abroad if you guys follow my journey ruby and i are opening up a store here in davao so i needed a pos system as well as potentially a system that can take inventory so we went the route on either lazada or and or shopee ruby found a solution on shopee and we only bought it for ten thousand pesos which is for me a steal because if you buy stuff in america POS wise might cost you a bit more money and we're more than likely gonna just do the regular for here in the Philippines a BIR they need it's just basically a receipt paper receipt we didn't get the BIR this is my disclaimer this POS system is not a BIR rated POS system this is just like for you to put it in the store for use of like a regular POS system hopefully this thing will work out hopefully it's packed with features that can be useful for you and gives you value as well if you are a starting entrepreneur in a physical store or maybe even a food cart situation here, this might be a really good system for you. It is made by iChico. So when we purchased it, it comes with the actual unit, uh, the black box, which is the cashier box, a thermal printer, and a bunch of rolls. So later on in this video, we're going to unbox it, put it all together, test it out, and see truly does this 10,000 peso unit provide a very user-friendly interface for you guys to transition and use it as a POS in your stores. So we're going to be unboxing the iChico POS tablet. And as you can see, this will be a really good addition to your store. And it fits right on the table and it's perfectly set up. So that is your VDA, your power cable, your LAN, your HDMI port, and two USB ports, potentially for a keyboard and or mouse. And for external backup, you can also put a micro SD right there. That is your power button going up and down, and two more USB ports, especially that 3.0, and a headphone jack and some speakers. And to go over some specs here, the key ones is all in one. The tablet is the size is 10.8. The resolution is 1200 by 1920. The internal storage is 32 gigs ROM. The RAM is two gigs. It runs off of Intel Cherry trial and Windows 10. As you can see, what you get with the box is your power cable, an HDMI, table and your instructional manual here is the printer setup so there is your pay for roll that you get with the printer setup and your manual for your printer setup and this is going to be the power cable for your thermal printer and the thermal printer and the usb connection to the unit it's pretty straightforward and up next we have our barcode scanner and these are all the parts and components to for the barcode scanner and its stand that is a barcode scanner along with the holder arm the cable that connects right into the unit and a stand next we have the cash register drawer now this is pretty straightforward just like most cash registers but nonetheless we're just going to open it up take it out so when you do get this as you can see it's very 
well packed and protected. So the case itself is steel. Or it could be aluminum, I could be mistaken, but as you can see, it's very well protected. And as you see that wire, that wire will be into your thermal printer so you can have an auto open each feature. You get the keys as well to the crash register. And we're going to be checking if it works. And here we go. So if you are concerned about space, I think this would be really good for you as well as like uh, just the user friendliness of it as what they put on Shopee. So we're going to test it out later. I'll give you more about what the pros and cons when setting into the system and things like that. Cons wise, I don't have any at the moment, but I will uh, fill you in at the, at the end of the video. So when initially turning on the unit, I am playing around with it just to check out what the unit can offer. When you first turn it on, it's pretty much a Windows setup, a Windows tablet setup. So just treat it as is. And eventually, if you do go to the app that is Aronium, it will take you to a tutorial page, just as long as you have a Wi-Fi connection or internet connection. And from there, you can pretty much see all the tutorials that goes through step-by-step -step, many of the functions and capabilities that the POS system can do. Hey everyone, so I have played it with the iChico system for a couple of days now. This is gonna be more, more like a more thorough review as to the pros and cons of this or system. As you can see, I have to really set up. I have an external, I have an external monitor. I have the unit right here, the cash register. I have a um, a keyboard. Uh, and a mouse attached to this unit, the barcode scanner, and the printer. Now, the keyboard and the uh, the mouse is optional, but I would have to say it's a very big pro to have that because sometimes it does take uh, a bit longer to type things in. Now, initially, the uh, 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 con is that when you do set up the uh, for accessories, as you can see, like all the all the um, things I have here, as you can see all the these are the inventory that i had to put in for every single one that would be very hard to do it on a uh, keyboard type thing on screen so that's why the key the a con for me is that you have to you need a keyboard so let's say you didn't have money for a keyboard then you'd be it would take forever to actually put it in so that's a con the pro is that there are actual um ports where you can actually put a keyboard and a mouse and you can see with the mouse way easier uh moving it around um as far as setting everything up from 1 to 10, 10 being like really good to go and really no thinking, I would have to say it's a 9. So that's a huge pro. Everything in here, I literally didn't even look at the uh, look at the manual. Everything is set up for this plug and play. That's what I love about that. So if you're not that tech savvy, this is probably a good system for you. Understanding the, the, the robust system here, it, 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 it is pretty robust. It will take some time. The tutorial videos are all there as well. So um, when you do purchase it, you can. there's a link for you all the tutorial stuff. But once you get it, it's like uh, set it and forget it pretty much. So you don't really have to really put a lot of mental time into it. So everything's set up. Um, if you want an external monitor, this is a uh, this is an option right here. Uh, it's super easy to do about the discounts, which is another pro. And Con wise, I don't really see too many cons if you're starting out. I do believe that this is not BIR certified, so that's a con. So this is more for inventory. Uh, outside of that, everything works the way it should work. Uh, as you can see, I'll show you a quick transaction. So if you were to uh, like choose like this, we'll do the hand one. Facial, we'll just choose that. And um, we'll just give it a discount because I don't want to be, I don't want it to hit my day so so that's okay so it's a zero so now if you hit uh payment super easy you can put in cash gcash and these are the things that you can put in so that's a huge pro 
right? So obviously it's a zero for now. So I'm just going to put cash, right? And then from here, I can just put, you can put the receipt, print the invoice and for now. We're just going to do that and press done. And we're good to go. And that's it for a transaction. Um, the cash register, the cash register is hooked up to the printer before I open the cash register up. There you go. Perfect. Right? The printer right here, super easy. You can, it's uh, literally, it's very easy to um to put all together, so things like that. But if you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll try my best to help you as much as I can. Understanding this POS. Uh, scanner is really good to go. I think um, all in all for minus the keyboard, the mouse and the external monitor and the stand, sub 10,000, I think you already have a really, you have a really uh, good POS on your hands and the software is pretty robust. So I give it a thumbs up and if you need any help, um, please feel free to hit me up and I'll try to accommodate. Take care. Bye.